Sanya, I'm back with another video. Today I want to show you how to make a red velvet cake. Um, this is a nice, moist, fluffy cake um, that I'm sure you'll um, enjoy. You and your family will very much enjoy it. It's pretty easy to make. Um, the ingredients that you need are pictured here. So you're going to need two and a half cups of cake flour. If you're not familiar with how to make that, it, it is in my, listed in my channel. Here I have two cups of granulated sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, one cup of buttermilk, which I made, it's homemade. And it's basically one cup of milk and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, regular distilled vinegar, or a tablespoon of lemon. And here I have one tablespoon of Hershey's cocoa and one teaspoon of baking soda. Here I have one fourth cup of sour cream and it makes my cakes really tender which is why I use it. And you want to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and three large eggs at the minimum. Um, also, we'll be using the Chef Master Candy Color in Red to give it that red look. So let's get started. Yeah. So you want to start by adding the two cups of granulated sugar and your three large eggs. You can also use medium eggs or medium eggs would work for this recipe. And so let's go ahead and pop these in. And everything is at room temperature, guys. Um, your ingredients must be at room temperature. Okay, so in I go with my eggs. And we're going to set this on a four in my stand mixer until it's a light yellow in color. Okay, and your mixture should look something like that. So I do want to add in my flour in thirds. I'm going in with the first scoop of my flour. In this mixture here, I have one cup of cake flour and a cup and a half of regular all-purpose flour. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And we're just going to set this on a two so it doesn't splash everywhere. Make it big. All right, we can go in with some of our milk. Half and half at time. Half now, half later. Okay, now that you see that it's incorporated, you want to go in with some more flour. You don't want to over mix, you just want to mix enough until it's all combined in there. And be sure to scrape the sides also, so it all gets mixed in. Okay, we can go ahead and pop this in. 
going in the other half of milk. And then finish it off with the remaining flour. It's a perfect recipe for maybe like three six inch cakes or three eight inch cakes. Like three layers of it um, with filling in between. You could also make two nine inch cakes as well. Scraping off the sides once again. Right, I'm going in with my sour cream, and these are just uh, just store brand items that I use in stores, like the ingredients. So this is just from Walmart, a great value brand. So let's go ahead and go in with our cocoa powder and the baking powder. Normally I go in with the dry ingredients, so um, I would have added the baking powder along with the flour. I apologize, but no big deal. If, you know, it's happened um, in the past and it's fine to just add in the ingredient after. Even if it's a dry ingredient, it's okay to go ahead and add it at this time okay so here I'm going in with the cup of vegetable oil you can always substitute an interchange butter with oil okay we're going to give this a last whisk just on a two Going in with my teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, I'm going to give this a last scrape on the sides. Get that all combined there. You want to give it that red tone. So it is a red velvet cake, so let's go ahead and add in a squirt of the two ounce bottle here. So let's go ahead and add more. So the good thing about Chef Master Brown brightens more with time as it sits. Just in case I'm going to add an additional squirt. I'm give it a final whisk. Okay, and that's good enough. Here I have two eight inch pans and I'm going to add this into, um, and I'll be using the butter spray to set this on the pan so it doesn't stick. But normally I do use Baker's Joy, or at times I cut out the parchment paper and set it um, on the pan itself so it doesn't stick, and just I use the spray around it. Okay friends, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees and it's almost preheated so definitely spray your pans at closer to time uh, from when the oven is ready. Okay. So my recommendation would be able to go with the total of um, four to five drops of food coloring um, up to one ounce okay so we're going to head and add this to the middle of the pan 
No, I'm gonna scale, but so let's go ahead and get it as close as possible. As far as like the same measurement. And we're going to bake this for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, I did bake the cakes for about 32 minutes at 350. So definitely bake your cakes until the toothpick comes out clean, but this is how they turned out. Um, they're definitely nice and moist and soft and tender. So definitely try this recipe at home. Uh, let me know how it goes. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye!